are you not able to crack DSA rounds? Are you not able to understand DSA problem even after applying multiple times? Dreaming about buying companies but afraid of DSA or having questions like can I crack product based companies without DSA? Is DSA mandatory for front end developer? Is DSA used in front end development? If any of these questions is bothering you, this video is for you. So what we are going to cover in this video, we will be talking about why DSA, what DSA, is it helpful, how you can basically crack these companies with or without knowing DSA and what is the mantra basically in order to do this. So with that, without further wasting, let's get started. So what is, what is DSA data structures we talk about? So first thing we have to understand data structures has evolved over the period of time, but the fundamentals are problem solving. Take an example, when did you start solving data structure or problem solving uh, in your school, academic or when you started working in a company? When, when did you start problem solving? You started problem solving when you are a small kid, when you are in playgroup, you are solving problems like can you find out the similar col color of ball? Can you stand in the assembly hall or assembly line in the ascending order? There was no one who was talking or telling you how these problems are solved. Our brain is so much taught and talented and equipped in order to solve these problems very easily. So take another example, like consider an example, you are standing on the fourth floor of a mall. Now your girlfriend is standing on the ground floor. If a girlfriend asks you, uh, can you please come to the ground floor, so we have to leave for the home, what will happen? So there are multiple options. You have an elevator, you have a lift, you have a staircase and obviously you can jump, right? Directly jump from the fourth floor to the ground floor. So what you will choose? If if I don't add any constraint, probably you will say, okay, I'm coming from the lift. Eventually you will wait for it on the lift and, and you will come down. But if that problem statement is changed, your girlfriend says that if you do not come within two minutes, I'm going to leave. What you will do? You will try to think about optimization. Optimization in terms of what is the current location of the lift? Shall I go from staircase and, uh, and then uh, jump into or, or take lift after a couple of floor? Probably you will take try to optimize the solution, right? So what I meant by what is data structures? Data structures are tools that can help you to make your logic performance. But what is important? First, are you able to solve that problem without thinking about optimization, right? First, solving a problem statement is very, very important without even getting into the concentrations of data structures and multiple things even. So one thing which we have to understand, data structures is just a tool which will help you to optimize your problem. But you have to be good problem solver, not necessary that you are very good at data structures at a first time. Now, why optimization is important? Take an example. Take an example why further optimization is important in big companies. You have a new feature which is launched which is fake face recognition. Consider this was the first time a developer basically came up with this cool idea that we have a feature which where you can place your face and it will automatically unlock your mobile. Now, but there is a one constraint. You have to place your face for five minutes at least for five minutes in front of the camera in order to unlock it. I don't think any of any one of you are lazy enough in order to wait five minutes in front of the camera just to ensure that you are lazy enough, you are not going to uh, use your thumbprint or basically you are not going to use any of your uh, keypad. Like I don't feel anyone is going to basically use that because the time complexity is so high. So the adoption actually decreases if the time complexity is high. Now take an example if the same problem statement if someone developer says that in order to use this cool feature, you need to have 128 GB RAM bare minimum in order to use this feature. What do you think? And it is going to cost maybe lakhs of rupees in order to buy that mobile. Probably, probably you won't be taking that mobile because you have to spend so much for one simple feature, right? That's why, that's why that optimization in terms of time and space complexity start keeping into the picture when scale matters, when cost matter, right? When you have to go to lot of lot of people and the adoption matter. Okay. Now, what is the problem with this data structure? Why it is so hard? Why it is so hard when we talk about, oh, it is a problem solving and then we talk about tooling, it's just to optimize and whatnot. I will be talking about five major reasons why today data structure is so having so much FOMO and it is very difficult and people are talking about purchasing n number of courses for this, right? First, which is FOMO, which is without DSA, you cannot get a job. Biggest reason, first reason, FOMO. Second, 
as it started being asked in the interview and that is the first criteria in many of the colleges where companies shortlist based on the DSA. Now it becomes a pain point for many people and the thought process without DSA you cannot make your career. That is the second reason. Third, FANG DSA level is very very high. It doesn't mean like without FANG there is no other companies right. And if you don't do not know that high level of DSA then you cannot basically get in the job or you cannot get a high paying salary right. Fourth, basically, which is lack of visualization. Right now, most of the people try to mug up algorithms, try to mug up the code, try to just practice, practice, practice n number of times so that if you get similar kind of problem, you can crack it. But there is a lack of visualization. How many of you can actually visualize what is going on in this pro uh, problem statement? And you are able to visualize in the same fashion like how uh, in the movie which is 3D everything was able to visualize in the 3D fashion basically without any screen on the front right without any board are you able to visualize fifth not able to relate or work on real projects where your DSA is basically used if these five problems are solved then the DSA is no going to be no longer going to be very hard. So we have to double think in terms of are these some problems or we have started creating as a problem and the blocker for that. Now let's talk about what is this mantra if I wanted to crack master DSA what can be done over here. So let's talk about six finger technique of Rithix. Rithix six finger technique trust me guys if you follow the six finger technique for some duration you will see this is going to change how you pursue DSA. This is going to change the FOMO that you have. This is going to help you to crack big and big 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 companies without bothering and having that FOMO of I am talking about DSA DSA DSA. First start with real life problems. When I say start with real life problem only pick those problem which you can relate in your real application. Like only pick the problems where you can visualize, you can see those problems, which is very, very important. Second, do not jump into the code directly. Do not jump into the code directly. First, put those things on whiteboard, which is very, very important. Try to note down what are the key things which are there in the problem statement, which are asked. Try to solve those problems. Try to write those things on the whiteboard. Practice on whiteboard or the, you can say, white paper, which is very, very important. Third, First, write English algorithms in your native language, English, Hindi, whatever you prefer. First, try to write how you are going to achieve that. So consider example, if you are on the fourth floor, you have to get down. What you will do? You will go near the staircase, inside the staircase. There you will be, there is a loop which is going on from first floor to the, to the ground floor. Basically, you will say, I wanted to go from negative direction from fifth floor to the ground floor, basically. And that loop will basically go on from there. You will find a way towards the exit and based on which exists, either the front exit or the back exit, depending on that condition, you will go to that particular door. What I meant by? You just write things in plain Hindi English algorithm which does not involve any code which is very very important. Fourth thing basically which is visualization. Try to visualize. Try to visualize. Close your eyes. See what is happening from where in case of shorting, in case of uh, you finding something, searching for things, filtering. What exactly is happening? Close your eyes. Try to visualize those things which are very very important. Fifth. Now convert your code, now convert your algorithm into the code. Now convert your algorithm into the code. And the sixth one, which is your consistency. Practice this for one month consistently. You will see this change in terms of the DSA, the FOMO that you have, the pain point that you feel like I'm not able to solve DSA. I, I, I cannot understand DSA. I am mugging the code and all soft things will go away. Importantly, when I say code when I say code into any of the language which meant by DSA does not belong to any specific language especially people who have questions related to I am a front-end developer should I code in JavaScript or I code in C++ Java or any of the Python because I have learned DSA in those respective language so I am more confident tell me one thing in when you join a company uh, when you work on certain project you are working on a web you are working on a web application and on that 
there is some some piece that you have to implement maybe any feature maybe undo redo related stuff maybe uh, task queuing priority queue or any such thing message queuing that you have to implement so will you say oh i have imp i have learned these things in python or ds or you can say java i am going to write code in that will your browser support that if not then how come your dsa is any language specific your dsa is not a language specific and you have to code in the respective platform understanding language which is javascript in this space in this case and trust me guys if you are not going for only the competitive examination try to code in the language where you are good at and if you are a front end developer then you cannot skip javascript and you must code in javascript which is very very important i hope you like the you understand the problems that we have you understand the techniques i have talked about and very important without before dsa comes to your mind first thing should be coming is a problem solving dsa is just for optimization of time and space which can still wait but first you need to solve the problem which is very 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 important with that let's dig into more detail in the next video where we'll be talking about is dsa important for front end developer if yes how much dsa is important for front end developer we'll be talking about all of these detail in depth in upcoming video with that see you signing off chirakoel